All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Golf Balling Podcast. We have a guest here today, Elliot Fry. Hello. What's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Doing great, man. Great to have you on. Looking yeah, forward to it. it. Nick had a... I like your sweatshirt. Nick had a... Well, I, I, you can't see it on camera, but... Go Cox, baby. Cox. <laughs> Jackson's a big Cox fan, so go game Cox. Yeah. So... Awesome. I want to ask you a just kind of like a hypothetical right out of the gate, actually. First hole, you're playing golf. You're with the guys. You got a 275 par four. Water <laughs> is 200 yards away, 250 to carry. What's the club here? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's, that's a good question. Um, I, I mean, I guess, listen, I, I, I like to think I play smart golf. Uh, but you know, I live down in Charleston and the ball does not fly like it. You, you think you rip a drive, you think it's 300 right down the middle. It just stops in the middle of the fairway. I'm from Texas. So that adds like literally 50 yards. So it depends on where I'm playing, but for the podcast, I'll say, I'm going to go driver. (laughs) I'm going to hit a little power fade off the tee and I'm going to try to land it on the green. Good response. It leads me to the second question. Say that ball goes into the into the water, right? But it's the first hole. Breakfast ball or no breakfast ball? What are your what's your stance? That see, that's where you, you let everybody else tee off first and see how they did. And then okay. you know, when everybody goes in the water, you say, Yeah, like guys, let's get another one. <laughs> but uh <laughs> yeah. Now I First hole, you know, you if you're you're out with the boys, you know, you're you're all taking. Let's be real, you you all four aren't hitting the green, so uh, yeah, there's gonna be some breakfast balls for sure. Hundred percent, man, that is great. I love that. I love that. Um, I mean, Nick, <laughs> I know you got I'm sorry, Jazz, you kind of took it. I, well, I, I just had more questions. I wanted to get about. off the. Before I forgot these, it's just a good sense to get. You know, see kind of how, what kind of golfer you are and see that it's you know, nice ask Elliot, like, Elliot, what type of golfer you are, handicap, stuff like that. Well, we, we, we haven't even given our listeners any background on him yet. Yeah, yeah. So that's why. <laughs> oh, why did I ask Nick to do that? That's Sean, you got that. Producer Sean, you got it. I, okay, I kind of was expecting you to take it. But um, Elliot, for our listeners who don't know you, can you just give us a brief background on yourself? Yeah, um, so I played football at South Carolina, uh, was a uh, place kicker, uh, currently with the uh, Atlanta Falcons, um, currently on the practice squad, so I'm kind of just chilling, um, but uh, yeah, that, that's me, I'm a kicker, avid golfer, um, that, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah. All right. What, um, have you played any, any cool tracks recently? Um. I just played, so this last week was our bye week. Um, So I actually didn't, and ended up under contract on a house uh, down in Charleston. So I didn't get to play, kind of ate up some time. I was a little uh, frustrated about that because I wanted to get out and play. But um, played a course up here in in Georgia, Hamilton Mill Country Club, which was pretty good track. And then played down uh, over at Lake Oconee at a place called the Harbor Club. I've, yeah, I've, I've spent a lot of time down in Lake Oconee. Yeah, they, they've got some really Sweet good. Courses. I've played uh, Cuscawilla a bunch down there. I got oh, a buddy yeah. who's out there. But, um, yeah, no, it's it's kind of – this is the, kind of the part of the season where you really don't get to play that much. So it's it's tough to get out. But, um, yeah, that's, that's – off season is, is pure – I mean, you're just, you're just pretty much golfing just about every other day. <laughs> that's great. So, Elliot, how much do you draw parallels, like, in your kicking game to your golf game? Like, especially, like, wind, stuff like that. Are you thinking, like, I'm going to hit a fade here? Yeah. um, No, it's actually, it's funny you say that. So, it's very, the mechanics of golfing and kicking are very similar. Um, And I think if you look at most NFL kickers, most successful kickers, like, like, golf is a weirdly... Like, it's like a rite of passage for kickers. Like, every kicker golfs and are pretty like pretty good for the most part. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah there, there are a lot of similarities, a lot of differences. Like you said, wind, 
um, you know, trying to do different things with the ball when you're in a, you know, a really windy place like Chicago or something, and you maybe want to keep it a little bit lower under the wind. Um, but all in all, you are in kicking. The, the difference would be you're, you're definitely not trying to shape it. You know, you're trying to hit a straight ball every time. Whereas in golf, you know, you're you're trying to do different things with the ball uh, a little bit more than, than you are uh, when you're kicking. Yeah, that makes sense. When you uh you you played for the Chicago Bears for a little bit, right? Yeah, I was up there in training camp. I was up there for about five months in the off season. Uh, ended up, you know, not winning the job later on, but played up there uh, in a few preseason games. So. That's sweet. Yeah. We're uh, we're from Chicago. Did you play any uh, okay. any cool tracks up here? I did. Um, so he... I went. I actually went. Uh, got inside the ropes at the BMW Championship oh, last no. year and got to walk around with everybody. Got to meet Justin Thomas in the locker room, so that was really cool. <laughs> yeah, that's um, I played Bryn Mauer. Um, oh, it's pretty close to me. Yeah. What are, what was it? The Dell Club? Is that one? The uh, Dell. No, maybe not. Glen Club. Glen Club. Oh, that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's next yeah. home course. Um, <laughs> played that. I played some other ones up there, too. I did make it up and go do the whole Whistling Straits, Black Oh, Fry. wow. Uh, you know, because that's not too far from up there. Um, if I was there longer, I probably would have gotten to play uh, uh, some more courses. But um, yeah. That's super yeah. cool. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, Nick, you're, you're a member at the yeah. Glen Club. <laughs> I'm a... I'm a... Big Glen Club guy. I play there a that's lot. A, so. That's a good course. We, yeah. we played there right before um, they had a web.com event yeah. out there or something. And we played it like the, they had all the stands set up. So it was like perfect condition. Um, but yeah, that was a that was a cool little spot. It's awesome. So do you play with like other guys on the team or are there is there a good amount of guys who are like golf guys? You guys got a golf group chat? <laughs> yeah, usually usually the again that the specialists are usually yeah. like a little group um it, it just depends on what team i i've been on i've now been on five different teams in the last year so i've kind of been all over the place but um yeah i mean you'll, you'll go out i it's actually when i was in uh chicago um kyle fuller me and him got to play a bunch he oh, cool. <laughs> he uh he's like a huge golfer like he golfs yeah, yeah. every single day he shows up to the facility in golf club, like he's ready to go right <laughs> after. So um, we were, and, and he's really good too, but you know, we, we connected too and started playing a lot just cause we were more kind of at the same level. He wanted to, you know, he plays fast, wants to play, you know, oh, yeah. not, not someone who's hacking it out there. And I, yeah. you know, I luckily got in there. I was like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I was like, you know, I'm good, you know, just to go out and play with him. But yeah. uh, you know, ended up kind of getting in there and, and going to, you know, play with him a lot. But um, yeah. You uh, you mentioned playing fast. Um, so I mean, I I love playing fast as well. So how do you feel about Bryson DeChambeau then? Not not the like fastest like player o- on tour. over overall or just about the speed. Overall, overall, yeah. <laughs> overall I uh, number one, yeah, the speed that's really annoying. I I too am a uh, you, you know I would go out in college and get the first tee time out at like 7 30 or 8 wow. so that i could just roll yeah. through and in, in two and a half hours and just wow. kind of go dedication love it <laughs> yeah well you know i i'm just addicted it's it's bad but um <laughs> no i mean i yeah that that's annoying i think bryson is uh i think what he's doing overall is cool in terms of changing i think you know the fact that he's trying new new shit he's you know trying to hit the long ball whatever that's all cool but god he comes off as a douchebag sometimes <laughs> like especially i'm sure you guys you know watching the masters and him calling it a par 67 yeah. <laughs> i mean that's that's just absurd i mean that'd be like you know even if you have like a big leg and kicking it'd be like yeah i'm gonna go kick a 70 in soldier field <laughs> and just being like that's that's what i expect to do and like the you know if, if he's playing it par 67 you know that breaking par would beat the course record at the most you know yeah yeah <laughs> just just like the the most sacred place probably in all of golf and you're and you say that type of stuff and then go out and barely make the cut it's like calm down man like if anybody could say that it's tiger woods jack nick like it, you're not even close to that you might be but you know calm down so elliot who's your favorite Who's your favorite PGA Tour pro right now? 
or ever. I mean, it's got to be Tiger. I mean, Tiger. now that he's back and playing, I mean, that's. Oh yeah. Um, I, you can't. I can't like get by that. I can't really. Yeah. Like I like a bunch of guys. Like at the end of the day, I want Tiger to win every single tournament. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, I'm from Dallas, so I. Uh, Ooh. Stepbrother actually went to the same high school as Jordan Spieth, so I've followed him all the way since high school. Uh, I actually got to watch. Um, I went to the Masters in 2015 when oh, he won, fuck. went to the final round, so that was oh, really cool. Wow. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm a fan of his. You know, wishing he was doing a little bit better, but uh, yeah, I mean, I I like, you know, Justin Thomas. I, you know, kind of kind of the main guys, I guess, probably. What about Cam Smith's hair? It's a, it's, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's something from Australia. That was, he's got to get that thing cut, man. I mean, you, you know, you're, you're second in the Masters. You gotta, you gotta do something with that now. I think he looks good. I, I think the flow looks incredible, but I, that mustache, the beard, that, that needs a little trim. I think he just sweats to, confidence. Maybe, maybe not, maybe not cut the hair, but do make it a little bit better. I think it looked, you know. He looked a little shaggy, you know. He could yeah. he could grow it out and be, uh, you know, he could rock it. But he's just in an in between phase right now. I was just about <laughs> to say that he he does look like he's a little bit in the awkward stage. <laughs> it's got to look presentable. You can't show up to Augusta like that. Yeah, That's... you need to plan your hair around the Masters. <laughs> yeah, hell, I mean, like literally, you you're probably walking in there and you look at all those uh, all the members and they're probably just like, what the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> and you go out and you know get second i guess it's not that big of a deal now elliot have you ever tried foot golf <laughs> i you know i've uh i haven't and i've been you know interested in that i've just never i don't know if, how i can go out and find that i just yeah. i haven't ever done it but that that sounds like something that you know obviously i i would uh should excel at yeah i was gonna say you should you should be pretty good at it um a different type of ball but still same time same motion in a sense so yeah hey, if there's a if there's a foot golf tour you you should join it <laughs> that could be that could be the next that could be the next step for me yeah. maybe we'll have to start that you could the... be the tiger woods of foot golf yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be that would be big that would be awesome <laughs> you think if there was a foot, foot golf tour going on with like the nfl Specialist would go and play in it. Do you think there'd be a big enough market there where you'd get NFL specialists playing on the foot golf tour? It's just I think, if, I, think, I think if they uh, I think if they upped the money, if you started bringing some capital, you you, you could see a transition from <laughs> from from kicking to uh, to foot golf. I, I I wholeheartedly believe that if um, if if you take most NFL kickers, like they'd probably be a golfer if they could choose, like if I, if I could say like, Hey, like I'm top 20 in the world at golf. Like if I could just make that happen, I'd much rather be on the PGA tour. <laughs> I mean, that's the life. I don't know if you know Josh Scobie, but we had, he was like one of our first guests. Apparently he's a, he's a real, one of the best golfers in the, he's really good. But uh, yeah, he was saying the same thing. There's a, a lot of pretty much every NFL any kicker, really big golf yeah. guy, which is great. You just love to hear things like that because it's yeah. It's there's awesome. there's some weird connection. I don't know what it is, but like it's a it's like a thing. Like yeah. literally, like every NFL like kicker is a golfer. Would you say your mental game, like, do they help? Do they go hand in hand almost? Is your mental game just perfect? <laughs> I. <I've, laughs> I actually think about this a lot because we always joke and we're like, I was joking with, with the other kicker with the Falcons um, now. And we were like, if we, if I would have started golf when I was three, maybe I am on the PGA tour because we've already got, like, if you listen to all the PGA tour guys, they say like the thing that really separates everybody is the mental aspect. And yeah. I think if you have that mental aspect, you know, not that it's easy, but like, you know, that's just a thing you need to get in. Like there's a bunch of talented people. So we always joke about that, but I will say the difference is, um, you know, you have to have a lot of confidence as a kicker, but that confidence comes from like you being one of the like best in the world. Yeah. So yeah, I am beast. not one of the best 
of in the world at golf not even <laughs> so like if i'm lining up over a five foot putt like i'm not i'm not in that same yeah confidence yeah. level as i am like <laughs> kicking a field goal because like i know i'm gonna make the field goal but yeah. you, <laughs> i'm probably you know i'm i'm human i'm not gonna make that five foot putt every time like all the guys on tour do yeah so let's say you got a three foot putt or a 20 yard field goal which do you feel like which which is giving you the more knee knockers right there? I uh, three foot. Three foot. I mean, yeah, you're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna miss a twenty yard field goal. I mean, that's I mean you you could yeah, but that's that's very. <laughs> I I I think that a lot more PGA Tour players miss three foot putts than NFL kickers who miss twenty yarders. Yeah, it's. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I got a question. So. How do you feel about gimmies, and should there be gimmies in football? Like if you if you've got if you've got a twenty yarder, should the other team just be able to be like, you know what, it's good. We don't have to waste this time. I've never I've never thought about that, but um, I I am I'm a it, it again it always it depends on the situation. Like if I'm playing for money, you yeah. know, and there there's totally money different. on the line, and I'm like I'm gonna make this putt. That guy's not like you know. Like yeah, yeah. If, if I think I'm better than him, I'm making us putt everything out just because yeah. now if I'm playing someone like Josh Scobie, I'm asking for gimme's left and right. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm like gimme inside, like, uh, the, you know, inside the leather, you know, like the old, the old tail goes, you know, yeah. I'm inside about three feet. I'll yeah. put it. I'll usually put it no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, if I miss it and I'm just playing by myself or something, like I'll count it. Yeah. If I just like walk up and like you tap it and you're like, oh shit, that like that didn't go in, but I'm like, yeah, it went in. Yeah, the, the classic. I gave it to myself already. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you just want to see it, but I want to see it through just for just for fun. Yeah, because if you gave yourself more time to hit that putt, a hundred, it goes in a hundred percent of the time. A hundred times. Yeah. You'd never miss that. If you lined it up exactly. <laughs> uh, kind of. I'm interested to see what your take is on because here at Golf Blowing, I'm a big food and Bev enthusiast on the golf course. Maybe what's your top food, top drink at the halfway house? You know, transfusions have got to be, you know, that's, that's oh, yeah. obviously the go to. Yeah, we get uh, that a lot. Yeah. Alcoholic drink. I had my, I was out, up at a really cool course uh, called the Honors Course uh, a few years ago. It's in Tennessee. It's like, top 50 course oh uh like really like no golf carts you got caddies like that that type of thing like really and i had that was like the i'd never heard of it before and it was probably like three years ago and then i got one i'm like what the hell have i been doing for the last like five years like so those are you know those are up there um honestly i'm just like a big like i said like i play fast i'm like a big just grab a cold turkey sandwich at the turn make it quick yeah. get on with the round yeah um so yeah i'm all about i'm all about speed what if it's what I if like that. what if it's presented to you what if they're you just, you're playing a really nice golf course and they got like a pre-made cheeseburger pre-made hot dog pre-made <laughs> sandwich of your choice you got i'm any, a big i'm big big on the hot dogs hot like, dog I'll, I'll go and answer. i'll go and get you know yeah. hot food i'd go in get a see them little spinning around on little things, you know, I'd be yeah. like, yeah, let's, let's roll with the hot dog. Let's get going. Do you put ketchup on your hot dog? No. Oh, that's no. the wrong answer. No, I know that's a Chicago thing. <laughs> I heard about that when I was up there. That's, it is a Chicago that's... thing. I just don't agree with it. Yeah, I don't agree with see, you either. <laughs> you agree with Chicago. We all, we all three are from, well, we're from the suburbs. So I, mean, <laughs> I guess that's why we put ketchup on, ketchup on our hot dogs. But. Were, any, were any of y'all up in Lake Forest at all? Is that where, because that's where we were in Chicago, we, the suburbs. We were, we're all from like Arlington Heights. So okay, kind of close. Or I, I work with tons yeah. of kids from lake forest i, I worked okay. at a golf course in highland park gotcha yeah yeah yeah. no what's that hold on there's a up near highland park is that there's a course up there that's a public course called like sunset yeah. sunset valley listen that might be nice. that might be the the best public that i actually that's like where i would go like we would get out at two during the summer i just book it like straight yeah. for there go roll through by myself 
that's one of like the nicest public courses like I've ever played. Like I yeah. guess they had redone it recently when I was there, mm-hmm. and I was like, this thing is like this is pure. Like it's yeah. a nice little course. I I had a lot of fun there. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite public course in Illinois. Yeah, I just it played like, it. I, you did. Oh no, go go ahead, go ahead. No, I was saying like it's like twenty five or thirty dollars. Like I I remember yeah. seeing it and I'm like, oh, it's probably gonna be a shithole, but like I'll play it because I'm bored. I go out there, it was like really nice. I was I was happy with it. Those greens are amazing for like yeah. for a public course. It's just unreal. They're tough. Yeah, yeah. No, it was that's a that's a good little spot. Yeah, that's really cool. I got to get this question out of the way. What what's the what? If you're having a good time with your friends, what's what's a proper amount of drinks to have, would you say? Again, that depends on if you like, you know, boys are in town once in a while, you know, you guys are going out just to yeah, have fun, or like, is, yeah. there, is there money on one? There's Can no I money. Try? It's more like, you know, maybe like five, ten a whole. Like there's money like, on the line, but you're gonna kick their ass type. Thing. Yeah, you, like, you know, I bet you open. ten bucks. You missed this putt. You know, we're <laughs> we're drinking. You know, it's a good time. Yeah. No, see, I never, you know, I never get like too hammered on a golf course just because I'm hard, like, man. extremely competitive. Yeah. To where it's like, I, you know, and, and I'll drink more casually, but like I never, I'm I'm just too competitive. Like I I start shooting and I'm like I want, you know. I, I want to shoot, <laughs> like yeah. try to get close to par. Like yeah, that's what yeah. I want yeah. to do. And so like I try, I I just stick, not even consciously. It's just like, you know, I just don't drink that much when I play. But um, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, you know, two or three drinks is probably the most I'd I'd ever I'd ever do on a course unless I don't. I mean, unless someone else was like buying them and just feeding them to me, <laughs> I mean, and maybe that's a different different deal. <laughs> now, what's your best your like best score it doesn't have to be your lowest score but like the round you're most proud of yeah um black wolf run uh up in that which is like i mean first of all like whistling straights and black wolf run are like really good courses obviously um and so you like you go in and you're like i'm expecting to like even if i play good like i'm not gonna shoot that well right i i played whistling straight shit the bed like just not <laughs> it was windy and like just not just wasn't what'd you fire I, th- I think it was like 89 and then i went to black wolf run the next day and shot 74 oh and there i you was shit. like holy shit like it was i mean like it was one of those days where you're just like swinging and like you're not do like you're just like oh do i want to fade the ball and you just hit it and it just fades like you're not you're just kind of unconscious i just had one of those days like i had i think i had like four birdies like i was just i don't know i was feeling it so that was i you know i've shot lower but like on a cool course like that where you know that's like a really nice course that you don't expect to do that well on i think that's probably one of my better better rounds maybe you'll be in uh the third match you never know (laughs) listen i yeah yeah, i've I've got a ways to go before I'm anywhere near that level, but that would be, uh, yeah, that would be awesome. How many strokes would you beat Tom Brady by? Bucks all yeah. off season. Um, <laughs> oh, true. And I, uh, I did not have the courage to say anything to him, but like in my mind, like the whole summer, I was like, oh, I'm gonna roast him when we get in there. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna like you know talk about that that match and everything and tell him I could beat him. And my my plan was. You know, I, I even told like all my friends this. I'm like, my plan is to go talk shit to him, stir up the competitiveness, and he's like, okay, let's go play. And then you yeah. know, he takes me out to some really nice course for free, <laughs> and I go, and it's like, no matter what happens, I'm like, hey, I'm playing golf. Yeah, Tom. right. Um, I never made that move. I was too scared. <laughs> he's too, he's like too just up there. Like, you know, he's just so above my level. So I never got to do that. But uh, after watching him, man, I mean, I think, I think I could, I think I could beat him. Yeah. Wow. We'll have to set it up. Yeah, we'll have to set it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll have our people call Tom. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys get that set up. I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever, wherever. That'd actually be so funny. That'd be, that'd be great. Who do you think would, who would you throw in your, if you could play with any four people, and whenever, dead or alive, doesn't matter, dream for some. Okay. And maybe throw in a course if you're feeling it too. Mm. 
Mm. You know. Okay. I know it's a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm thinking I would, you know, there's Tiger. Um, I would go, I would go Tiger, Ricky, and Justin Thomas, Uh-oh. because number one, Tiger just for the, you know, the goat factor, like <laughs> that's, uh, and I feel like, uh, I, I feel like Ricky and, uh, JT would just be like cool as shit. Like, I just feel like they're like really yeah. like cool guys that would just, yeah, you know, be chill. shooting the shit. Like, yeah, obviously they're going to beat me by 40 strokes, but like. <laughs> <laughs> you know we're still having fun um and i mean the course would be you know augusta that, that's you know that's that's number one for me oh, yeah. uh probably never gonna happen but you know that's that's yeah. where that's where i'd like to play the most probably that's where we get the tom brady match at yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah set that up there. you guys call, make sure you guys call augusta that'd be good yeah. hey and it's not, get, not a far drive from it I get some tips with Tiger on the greens, you know, show, yeah. show me everywhere to hit it and everything, all the lines. So that would be, yeah, that'd be pretty solid. <laughs> yeah, actually, he might as well just caddy for you. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, like, listen, you guys set it up. <laughs> I'm sure his back's feeling fine. He'll be good. <laughs> uh, that's, that's funny. Good. How hard was it to watch? Because going to the Masters, I mean, none of us have been there. That's so cool. How badly did you want to just, Play a quick nine. Get oh, a quick like, nine. Well, <laughs> not eighteen. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I eighteen. <laughs> yeah, I would too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like to be honest, like it that, that doesn't even phase me. Like I, I really do. Like in the off season, like I'm probably playing three to four times a week. So okay. like it's all I'm always trying to play as much as I can. So like that doesn't even that doesn't even like get me going to want to go play because like I already want to go play. But you're at Augusta um, watching the Masters. Yeah, but he's saying he already wants to play. Yeah. I already want he to play. He always wants to play. I see. I, like, okay. like, constant. Like, okay. it's like, yeah, I'm watching. I do have a good yeah. story about the Masters last year, though. So, um, I had tickets two days. I had tickets Friday and Sunday. And so, um, so I had played in the AAF last year, which got yeah. um, canceled, whatever. Went bankrupt. Um, so I'm there sitting, you know, had a, I had a really good season there and I was kind of hoping to get picked up and, um, you know, Thursday starting masters are on, I get a call from Chicago. And so they're like, Hey, come up and, you know, do a workout for us on a, on Friday. I was like, you know, Oh, like, cool. Like, this is like, you know, this is awesome. You know, who knows if it's going to work out, but whatever. And then I'm like, on the other side, I'm like, shit, I literally have tickets for Friday. And this is like tiger's first, like I, I'm like a huge Tiger fan, so even before that, I was like, he's gonna win. Yeah, you know, like I like I had that feeling. (laughs) Not that that was ever justified or anything. It was just like I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna win. I did the same thing this year. I'm like, he's got to win. (laughs) But um, so I go in and I'm I'm like, okay, well Friday, like I I get back Saturday, I can still go Sunday. Um, so I go up and I end up, you know, getting signed. You know, kind of getting that job for the getting signed to the team, and they send me back home. And I'm like, oh, like, okay, I just got signed by the Bears. Now I'm going to go watch Sunday at Augusta and Tiger's like, like in the hunt, like he, he, he like he yeah. can do it. And then I find out I have to come back to Chicago to start the off season on Sunday. <sighs> and I'm like, you've got to be shit. Like I literally had like, like I had Friday and Sunday and I'm sitting there watching Sunday on my phone on the way to the airport <laughs> oh. and tight, ty- like Tiger wins. Yeah. And he's I'm like, I li- like I had tickets to that. Wow. Like I, I was, I was so I was, but also at the same time it was like, hey, my dreams are coming true, and I just yeah. made it to the NFL in a sense. But like, I could have been there to watch Tiger. It was Thank snowing. God. It was snowing that yeah, day. Yeah, it was snowing. I, yeah, I it was snowing here in Chicago. Yeah, and, and I, I yeah, and I got up there and it was April, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> and uh, and it's funny too. I actually have this, another Tiger story like that. I was in uh. I, so I'm in Atlanta right now, but I lived in Atlanta with my girlfriend for um, about a year and a half, a, a few years back when Tiger was in Eastlake and won the tour championship. Oh, cool. And so, again, tickets were like 40 bucks. I was about to buy them, and she's like, hey, my parents have tickets to the Falcons game. Like, let's go. I'm like, yeah, that's fine, whatever. Tiger goes and wins Eastlake. And all my, like, I had a bunch of friends there, and I'm just like, Jesus, like, what am I, 
you know, I had a long talk with myself after, after those two incidents. I'm like, this isn't happening again. Like if, like I'm <laughs> screw, screw all this. Like I need to go watch Tiger play. So essentially what you're saying is in April, you need to get tickets to the masters. You need to not show up. Tiger's going to win. If that is, that is very true. If, if that were a, a factor, I would absolutely stay as far away from Augusta as I can. If, if Tiger keeps winning at, at if he keeps winning the Masters, like I'll stay as far away as I can. Perfect. Man, that is, those are, that's two crazy stories. Thank God he got signed by the Chicago Bears. Otherwise, like, I mean, <laughs> like, damn. <laughs> yeah. <That's... laughs> so, Elliot, how's your girlfriend with your golf addiction? Is she supportive? <laughs> is she, you have to throw her in a cart once in a you while? You have to throw away the receipts or. <laughs> you know, so she used, this is, this is, so when we were in college, you know, like early on in the girlfriend phase where, you know, you're, you know, you guys are just together every second. And she would be like, I'll go golf, like not go yeah. golf, but I'll sit in the cart for a quick, yeah. a quick 18. <laughs> and like, if I go early again, like I will finish in two, two and a half hours. Yeah. So it's like, she's like, yeah, it's not that long, whatever. And oh my God, she, she would just laugh every time I'd mess up. And again, <laughs> oh. I told her like, I'm really oh. competitive. And like, you know, like shit like you you know you pull up to a tee box and you like shank a drive and i just hear her like go <laughs> like, i'm like i can't like and i would get like mad and she'd be laughing and like poking fun at me and i'm like i'm gonna kill her like i'm gonna like this is dry like, like it's because she's just having a good time and i'm like oh yeah great like uh you know that's a double there like and she's like, <laughs> and it was i was about to lose it so uh no but she's she's actually fine with it she she has a you know she works a lot, actually. So she's, you know, we're kind of like on, she works all day in the off season. Like, I'll go play golf. Not too big of a deal. But um, I've like asked her to kind of like try to get into it. But she's also very competitive. And mm. for like every, you know, like just people athletically in general, like if you're somewhat athletic, you can go pick up a sport. Like not, not be really good at it, but like yeah. you can pick up basketball. You can pick up you know, baseball, football, like yeah. tossing the ball, like you can play it golf. Like you can't just walk up and play it. Like she can't hit the ball. So she yeah. loses it. Like she has no patience for it. <laughs> like, cause you can't just walk up, like to be able to play a round of golf, you basically have to like practice for a year mm -hmm. if you haven't ever swung a club before. Yeah. So she's like, not about it. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Actually, I'd probably be the same way too, but yeah. yeah. That's understandable. That's so funny yeah. though. It's so funny. You just, you just four putt. You just four putt for triple, but they're oh, one in the hole at least. Like oh, she's yeah, going to write down. She's giving me shit, and I'm just like, it's not funny. Like I'm not. <laughs> like you're laughing, but like I'm actually really, really pissed right now. <laughs> she's like, oh, what'd you get there? And you're like, <laughs> triple. <laughs> doesn't doesn't matter. <laughs> like right down. Uh, you know, I, I'm like, yeah, that's a bogey. She's like, no, that was a double. <laughs> she starts counting your strokes. <laughs> She's not she telling everyone cheaters. how big of a cheater he is. <laughs> it's like Elliot's been shaving strokes every single day. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Uh, do you guys have any more any more questions? I I just have one more. It's not about golf, but uh, what was your first NFL field goal like? Like, were you nervous? Were you feeling confident? How was that? Yeah, no, it was really cool. Um, uh, it was six weeks ago. We went up to uh, Green Bay. Oh. Um, so I was, yeah, we were, so basically, like, I got cut from Tampa, wasn't anywhere. Um, the kicker here in Atlanta got hurt. Um, so came in for a workout, beat the other guy, and ended up, like, you get a call on Tuesday, and it's like, wow, okay, I'm playing Monday night football at Lambeau Field for my first game, and I'm like, oh, this is tight. Oh, wow. And, uh we go up there and it's like, it was cold and windy. And so I'm like, Oh wait, maybe this isn't so great. But, um, no, it was, it was really cool. It was a, you know, it was a little chip shot. It was like a 23 yarder. It's the only one I got to kick. So that kind of, you know, I, it's like, that's great, but it's like, you also want to like make some, you know, like you want to go out and hit a 50 yeah. yarder because like that game winner at Lambeau. Yeah. And Field. so we did not win. Um, but yeah, no, it was a really cool feeling, especially like that was my first time at Lambeau, like seeing it. That's a really cool place, yeah, cool it's stadium. So cool. 
a lot of history. Um, so, you know, it was, it was really cool. It's, it's definitely, uh, definitely something I won't forget. Awesome. That's awesome. cool. Nick, you got, you got a final yeah, question. Yeah. Um, okay. So don't get mad at me. I am a big Florida fan. Um, it's fine. That's yeah. fine. I was just, I was just going to ask how was, how was, so did you play under Steve Spurrier at South Carolina and then at Orlando? Yeah, or, so I was with Spurrier for three years, then Muschamp my, came in yeah. for my senior year, and then, yeah, Spurrier called me to the AAF, and I didn't really even want to do it because I was like, I've never heard of this, but he kind of talked me into it, and uh, yeah. I don't know, I was just wondering how he, he just seems like a cool guy, I don't know, he's, but... He's yeah. a he's a big golf guy too. He uh yeah, he uh, we we always we always joked about stuff. I never got to play with him, but um he ended up well, when we were in the AF, he had just had hip surgery. He could like barely walk and I was like, oh. "Hey, let's go play." And he's like, "I haven't played in a year. Like I can't." <laughs> like I can't walk. I'm like, "Damn it." Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah. You guys were killing it. I I I was picking Orlando to win. They were putting up points like no other. I'll tell you what. Listen, we had old old Gary G, old Garrett Gilbert, and yeah. uh, he was rolling, man. I mean, he hell, he had a good game with the uh, Cowboys the other week. Um, but uh, yeah, no, we were we were rolling. We uh, we we would have won it all, but you know. Yeah, I declared I declare the Orlando Apollos the champs of the AAF. I I declared it right now. I think you know what's funny is I. I could be making this up, but I do feel like there was like an email that went out from all the people from like the facility to like declare us like that, like get rings and stuff for them. Like, oh. I don't think I don't think anybody like wanted them, <laughs> but we were like the, the, like we definitely declared ourselves the the winners. <laughs> we'll, make some, we'll make some T-shirts for it. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> but. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Um, We'll have to try and get you back on in the off season. Yeah, definitely, man. I'm not doing doing anything. I'm just playing <laughs> golf and kind of chilling. So for sure, man. I'll put your uh, I'll put your Instagram in the podcast description if you guys want to go check out Elliot. And um, good luck with the rest of the season, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks yeah. for having. Me. For yeah, sure. it was a lot of fun. Thank you.